envy. It's a natural human emotion that we all experience at some point in our lives. With the rise of social media, it's become increasingly easy to not just envy the people close to us, but complete strangers on the internet who we don't truly know. It doesn't feel good at all, and if anything, it sabotages us. But what if I told you that you could transmute the energy? of envy. In this video, we're going to be diving into some of the psychology of envy, the energetics of envy, and I will be sharing with you an envy transmutation spell. Now hold up, I ask for you to take the time to listen to this entire video because people get so excited they just want to skip straight to the spell, but that's not going to help you be successful in magic. Those of you who have been with me for a while know that I love to look at magic from this energetic and also psychological perspective. I believe that one does not exist without the other. The more we dive deeper into our own psyche, our shadows, our limitations, our fears, the more we uncover and understand these, the more powerful we truly are. It gives our magic an advantage and it yields more successful spells. Without first understanding and healing these parts of us, there will always be the shadow side sabotaging our spell work unconsciously. So in this video, we are going to dive deep. I really want to give you the tools to apply this to your own life next time you encounter the little green monster. So first, before we dive in, I want to be clear on the definition of envy because envy is actually different than jealousy, though many of us interchange those words and mix them up. Now, envy is defined as painful or resentful awareness of an advantage or possession enjoyed by another and the desire to possess the same. Jealousy, on the other hand, requires at least three people. And this is defined as the feeling of being threatened, protective, or fearful of losing one's position or situation to someone else. So envy is when you don't possess something, but jealousy is when you do possess something and are afraid of losing it. One of the reasons envy is so detrimental and sabotaging is because it completely devours our happiness. And basically we start to associate happiness with completeness. From this perspective, in order to be happy, we therefore must possess all the things that we desire and lack nothing. This very perfectionistic view of happiness essentially prevents us from seeing the bigger picture. We only see things from lack and therefore we can never be truly happy. Signs that you might be experiencing envy include feelings of inferiority, feeling angry when you see other people achieve or receive things that you want. You may avoid situations where you have to talk about yourself. You may feel like everyone else around you is getting what they want or living the life that they desire, but you're not. You think other people are undeserving of their success, successful people annoy you, or you find yourself being very critical or unkind to them, feel sadness seeing other people living how you wish to live, and maybe you feel yourself taking on a victim mentality. Maybe you always feel bad for yourself. Now when feelings like these show up, the first thing to remember is to not feel guilty about what you're feeling, but rather recognize that this is an ego response. Your ego is a natural part of your psyche that is here to protect you. Everyone has it and everyone experiences envy. The next thing to do is ask yourself, why is this envy showing up? Get specific about what you feel you are currently lacking. Sometimes we just think we're envious because we see someone with more money or more pretty things than us. But usually it's not just that. It usually goes a lot deeper. Is it about freedom? Is it about making your family proud? Is it about wanting to look good in front of other people? Maybe making up for a lack of self-confidence or self-worth. Maybe you're trying to compensate in some way. So take some time to truly dive deep, to reflect and journal on this topic to begin to understand yourself a little bit better and really try to uncover these layers that exist below the surface. So now we're gonna start to shift more into the energetics of envy. I want to start with three points as we transition. When we experience envy, we should be keeping these things in mind. Number one, we are so hyper-focused on this feeling of lack and therefore we're forgetting all the amazing things that we already have in our life. And gratitude happens to be one of the most powerful and important steps of manifesting. So in forgetting to remember what we are grateful for, we are actually sabotaging our ability to manifest. But don't worry, we're gonna shift that. 
Number two, we are seeing this other person that has whatever thing that we want in this superior light and therefore completely forgetting that they are also a human being and they also have challenges and struggles and they probably don't have everything they want either and their life probably isn't as perfect as we perceive it to be. Because we are humans that grow and evolve every single day, there will always be a new goal point. There will always be something else that we want, that we desire. None of us ever truly have everything we want at any given time. So therefore we can't really define happiness in this way. We must be happy with where we are right now and what we currently have. Number three, the envy is there to tell you something. The envy is not there to torture you. The feelings that come up are a combination of your unconscious mind and the universe showing you possibilities. If there is something that you want, maybe that thing is something you should pursue. Seeing other people do things that you want to do is simply a signal for you to align your actions and your intentions to manifest that yourself. There is something there that is calling us in some way. Even if there's someone that bothers us for some reason and we can't really put our fingers on it and maybe we don't even realize we have envy there or you know we don't fully understand our emotions but they're triggering us for a reason and it's important to really dive deep into what that reason is. These triggers, these feelings come up because there's some area in our life where we're not fully living authentically. So what does this mean? This means consciously living in in alignment with our truth, in alignment with our passions, our interests, really going for the things that light us up, taking chances, taking those risks that feel good for us, getting out of this safe place. You know, sometimes we don't go for these things because we feel safe, even if it's making us unhappy. Really not hiding, not holding back, not settling. So if we are feeling envious, we really should be asking ourselves, in what way am I not showing up for myself right now? Or in what way can I start to live more authentically? By asking yourself these questions, you empower yourself, you invite yourself to start to transmute this energy of envy into something that is more helpful, more productive. We can then shift to a higher vibration and start manifesting our goals. So when envy comes up, acknowledge it, feel it, understand it, and also thank it for revealing this desire to you. And then start shifting it to serve you better. And this leads me to the spell. You will need the following items. A piece of paper, some scissors, a pen, or some other writing utensil, a jar of your choice, and some items which correspond to the energy of transmutation, metamorphosis, transformation, shifting into this more high vibrational energy, this energy of going from negative to positive, healing, purifying, that kind of thing. I will be sharing what I personally use for the spell, but I just wanna give you guys the opportunity to choose items that feel best for you. So maybe meditate on it. What do you think of when you think of the transmutation of energy? It could be natural items you find in nature. It could be crystals. It can be charms. It could be anything. Get creative and choose your items with intention. It just has to be something that can fit in your jar. Our goal here is to shift this energy of envy into inspired, grateful, and high vibrational energy. So with that being said, the items that I personally chose for my spell were Malachite. Malachite is representative of change, energy protection, really great for releasing negative energy and that you know negativity of envy. Next I use Black Tourmaline. Black Tourmaline is a very ground crystal. It's also great for removing negative energy. Now I chose to use this because I felt like it would be really helpful for getting you out of your head and pulling you back to earth. I also use clear quartz which is a great vibration raiser, amplifier of spells, and amazing for shifting energy from low to high vibe. I also use rose quartz. Rose quartz helps with self-love and also self-compassion and forgiveness too. As we often feel guilty and bad about being envious, this will really help us to shift this energy and understand, you know, this is something that we all feel as humans and we don't have to feel bad about it. And if we can get out of the feeling bad, out of that energy, we don't have to be stuck 
in it. I also chose to use seashells. Now the life of a seashell can be seen as a symbol of transformation in itself. They are created initially by sea creatures like sea mollusks and sea snails. And these creatures secrete calcium carbonate, which they're able to create from the salt and other chemicals that they absorb in the ocean. At the end of a mollusk's life, it will shed the shell from its body and they may end up as a home for another creature. They may end up on this shore. They may become this protective barrier between the sand and the ocean currents to prevent further erosion. Eventually, they'll break down in the ocean and this calcium carbonate will be reused, recycled by other creatures who begin this process all over again. So it really is this transformational cycle. Not only this, but seashells are often also associated with the element water. And water is seen as a very cleansing energy. And it's also seen as transformational in itself because water can be vapor, it can be fog, it could be hail, it could be snow, it can be ice. It has so many different forms. I also included fennel seed. Fennel represents purity, cleansing, and healing, all of which we need in this transformation mutational process. Also seeds and cells go through this transformation when given the correct environment and nutrients to sprout and grow. And finally, I also included soil. The earth is seen as a very powerful energy. The element is often seen as the ultimate transmuter of energy. We can give the earth our pain, our fear, any of that icky stuff, that heavy stuff that we feel, we can give it to mother earth and she will transmute it for us. So here are the steps. Number one, if you already haven't taken the time to journal and reflect on your envy, really dive deep, do this first. Do not skip this step. It is probably one of the most important, if not the most important step of this magic. You have to face your shadows to have successful spell work. Number two, plan to do this on the full moon. I will expand on this a little bit more later on. Number three, set up your sacred space. Collect all of your items, make sure you're completely ready. And then once you're in your sacred space, you're going to cleanse the space and the items that you're gonna be using in the spell. You can cleanse with whatever method that you prefer. It could be sound, it could be smoke from an herb bundle, incense, it could be a cleansing spray, it could be anything that works for you. This is completely personal. Next, you're gonna cut up some strips of paper that you're gonna be writing on, or you can choose to cut them as you go, but I prefer to have everything ready ready from the beginning. Now on one piece of paper, you're gonna be writing down the thing that you are envious of or the person you're envious of. But you wanna be very specific and just make it one thing. So if there's multiple things, you're gonna to wanna to do multiple jar spells at different times, but we are really focusing on this one thing. You don't wanna to have too many areas of focus because the energy is not gonna be as concentrated and it's not gonna be as powerful and it's gonna be a lot more difficult to transmute that energy. So let's just pick one for now, right? it down, fold it up, and then you're going to place it in the jar. Next, on the other pieces of paper, you're going to write down things that you're grateful for. One piece of gratitude per paper. As many things that you're already grateful for in your life, that you already have in your life, write down so much because the idea is we want to overpower this energy of envy with this energy of gratitude. Next, you're gonna add the items that you personally chose to this jar one by one while thinking or saying out loud what the intention behind this item is. What is it going to do for you? What is its part in this spell? Once everything is in the jar, you're going to seal it, and then you're gonna hold it in your hand while you speak this incantation out loud. I release my envy to be transmuted through love and earthly elements into high vibrational and inspired energy. I choose to be grateful for what I have and where I am at in this moment. And I know that when I see something I desire but don't have, it is the universe showing me possibilities of what I can manifest. By releasing envy and embracing inspiration, I open myself up to the magic of the universe and trust my journey. I direct my energy in a healthy way to create the reality I desire, and so it is. 
place this jar on your windowsill for an entire moon cycle. So we're placing it on the full moon, which by doing this on the full moon, you're setting the intention of, you know, releasing, letting go of this envy. And as the moon phases change and go through this transformation of their own, your envy will go through this transformation of, you know, gratitude and high vibrational energy and all these other things that we're trying to call in. So basically it's changing with the phases of the moon. And the moon phases will amplify this intention. During this entire moon cycle, you also have to make sure you're taking tangible steps towards your goal. So maybe it's a dream job that you're after. Well, what steps can you start to take towards this dream job? So really get clear on that. You might want to do some goal setting during this time too if you're not already clear on what things that you can do to get closer to your goal. When the moon is full again, you're going to take the jar off your windowsill and you're going to take the pieces of paper in your jar and you're going to bury them in the earth for the earth to continue to transmute this energy. Now, if you can't do this for whatever reason, you don't have access to somewhere you can bury these pieces of paper, then you can also burn them in a fireproof bowl or cauldron. The other items that are more natural, like herbs, things like that can be just released to the soil. Please don't pour salt on the earth. That's not good for the microorganisms that live there. And things like crystals can just be cleansed and kept where they were in the first place. But if the envy does show up in the future, maybe it shows up for another reason with another area of your life, then you can always do this spell over again and do it as many times as you need. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful to transmute some envy that you may be experiencing in your life. I have felt it, we have all felt envy at some point, and I just really hope this video is helpful for you. If it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more conscious content like this. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.